Okay, um, there's been some questions on uh, the uh, radiation contamination filter and the use an electric uh, a blower on it. And most everybody realize if it's uh, an actual nuclear attack or a nuclear detonation, you're not probably going to have electricity, which I knew that. Uh, but the design still uh, is functional for if you have like other events where you still have power. So the blower would still work and that'd be nice to have. Uh, but I made this because it's, I just want to show how easy this is to make. It's not hard and you can move quite a bit of air actually. Uh, so what you have here is, this is a double check valve. There's a valve on the bottom where the air goes in and there's a valve on top where the air goes out. And then it takes a suction in the middle so the air pulls in when you pull back on the piston and when you push forward it comes out i'll i'll demonstrate that and you'll see the top valve going up but the bottom one's doing the same thing but on the other stroke so i'll show you how that's working you'll see it pop up right there and it's more flow than you would think it's it it doesn't move much but it, it does have a lot of flow so that's going in that's going out so it sucks in in out in out so that's the basic uh, the way it works. Um, and then this is the, the check valve, and this is the key to it. The piston part's not all that hard, but this, getting this right, was uh, took a little doing, but it wasn't terrible. These are just bottle tops from um, plastic bottles, so... This one's a Coke bottle, and it's, because it's smaller, it sits down there. It didn't need to be this as big. This one has set in this one, and it's a little bigger. So this is just a, a drinking water bottle that actually fit in there. And you could put a, a two-liter bottle, will fit on here. Coke doesn't work because it's got grooves in it. This one, these, the small bottles don't, but the big ones have grooves, and they don't seat as good. So I just threw a couple of nuts in there just to give it some weight. So basically, you just drop those in, and that's your valve. You, and it has to sit this way, because if you go sideways, it's not going to work, of course. So that's one thing. And then these joints here are just to go from a 4-inch down to a 1.5-inch a one inch fitting. And then this part here, here's the lower valve. This part here, you'd connect this to your filter. So, however, you could get that to your filter. Then, on the, the piston, um, I found that a Coleman, like a Coleman propane, this is for like a lantern or something. It's, it's the bigger ones. It's not the, the small ones for the propane torches are, are smaller. These are just about the right size. However, I did have to... Uh, increase the size a little bit so I use this nylon string and uh, if you get these um, sewer drain line it's four inches real narrow thin wall but if you get those they're a little bit different so that I had to use I, I was practicing in this one just to test it and I was using this, it's called uh, uh, butcher string. It's a thick string, and I had it wrapped all the way uh, from the bottom up to here to get a good seal. And it worked great, except this one's smaller, so I had to go down to this. And this is just a test. I'll Eventually, I'll take and I'll just wrap this all the way up here and... and use that that way it's got a nice large surface area but that's your piston you just it's it goes you know in here back and forth and that's what draws your and moves your air so this uh, bottle has a narrow or a this is just a three-quarter inch pipe and i just have a slip fit here on this uh, I, I would glue it later on but now i don't need to then this piece is a, if you can see, and that's a threaded, three-quarter inch threaded to slip fit. 
and you would glue that to your post or your uh, pipe. This threads are not the same as these. However, because it's plastic, this is plastic and this is metal, it, it'll, it'll crank on there and it'll stay pretty, pretty sturdy. And uh, then you just put your rod in there and then that makes your, your piston. It moves a lot of air. Um, this being a four inch tube and you're going probably 36 inches each stroke uh, moves quite a bit of air. I was able to blow up a, a about a 50 gallon bag in way less than a minute. So it goes uh, pretty quick. Anyway, I just thought you want to see that. I'll maybe do a, I'm going to experiment with some other designs. It might be a little bit better, but on this one, you could actually, if you built two, two of the check valves, you could have one tube on this end and another tube up here, maybe going in the side. And then you could have the piston in the middle and, and it would work one way. It would uh, flow air out one and then going the other way, it'd flow the other. So you could get double the um, airflow with, uh, this, with, a with one full stroke. So anyway, hope you guys like that. It's... Uh, wasn't all that hard to build, just getting the piece of parts and matching it up. And uh, one thing I did forget to tell you, this, I just taped these together. This is the same as this. And I just taped this. I put it together like that and just taped it because I wanted to be able to take it apart. You could get a three-inch piece of... Uh, PVC and put it in there and secure it if you wanted because you can actually reach down and pull pull that out by hand. So it's 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 pretty simple to do. And if you have to fix anything, it's just cut you a bottle top and you're good to go. So you guys have a blessed day and thank you. Bye.